One of God's name is the Waymaker. He works in ways we cannot see. So many times as believers, we fret and worry over so many things we have no control over. The children's school fees, we worry about our future, what we would eat, and what we would drink, what we would wear, and so on. God assured us in His word that if He takes care of the sparrow, He will take care of us as seen in Matthew chapter 10 verses 29 to 31. Even the birds of earth neither sow nor reap yet, God feeds and protects them. How much more we that are His beloved? The reason why so many believers in the world today fret and worry so much is that they do not have enough faith in the power of God to save them from their predicaments. When we have different problems in life, it is important to put our faith in God because God is the hope we have. The Bible in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 tells us to trust in the Lord and we should not lean our own understanding. When we lean on our own understanding, it is like we are telling God we can do it on our own. It is saying we believe we can help ourselves, but God is telling us to put our trust totally in Him. There are many ways as believers of Christ that we get involved in crises of life. The journey of the cross is not an easy one. Jesus said to us in His word that those that are with a heavy burden and oppressed of the devil should come unto Him, and He would give us rest in Matthew chapter 11 verse 25. No matter what we are going through, God is saying He would never leave us or forsake us. This is why we should always put our trust in God no matter what the situation or circumstances we might be in. There are so many instances that we put our trust in man. This is because man will always fail us. Except the Lord put in their heart to help us. Man would always fail us. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5 tells us that curse is any man who puts his trust in man. And that is why you must not put trust in man. Your family, friends, colleagues, and the rest would make promises to help you. This is not to say you should not accept help or promises from others. God is going to use people to help you. It is important to trust in God even when people have promised to help you. There are many times we as believers feel there is no way out of our predicament. An example of this is when we have terminal diseases such as cancer. This is the period God wants us to believe in His healing power and trust Him. Our God is a great healer. He said in Isaiah chapter 35 verse 5 that by His stripes we were made whole. God will always show up for us. God is never late. He is always on time. Your situation might seem hopeless, but God is always going to make a way for us. God said in His word that He will make a way in the wilderness and cause water to flow in the desert. It means He will make the impossible possible. All we have to do as believers is to believe and trust God. There are moments when God comes through for us to proclaim how great He is. When the children of Israel got to the Red Sea, they lost faith and hoped for the worst thinking that the host of the Egyptian army would catch up with them. He did what had never been done before and parted the Red Sea. It shows God does miraculous things in our lives that cannot be attributed to anyone but Him. When we worry, we put ourselves in a state of fear and anxiety. This has a negative effect both on our physical and spiritual well-being. Physically, our health deteriorates due to high blood pressure which can be caused by excessive worry. Then our spirituality in Christ is affected since fear has taken over our minds. Worrying over situations we cannot control is not a solution to our problems. It is important to learn to pray during the period of our tribulations. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 tells us not to be fearful or anxious, but we should rather make our request known unto God through prayers and supplication. When we have issues in life, then we as believers in Christ should pray. When we are in a difficult circumstance, we should pray. The Bible commands us to pray without ceasing. Prayer involves taking God's word back to Him. These are periods to affirm 
God promises over our lives. Prayer helps us remind God to make a way for us. As believers in Christ, there are so many things we worry about that are so trivial and small. What we worry about are so meaningless. We end up giving ourselves unnecessary stress. God has promised us that He will never leave nor forsake us. We worry a lot because we want to impress so many people. We worry about what others think of us. We wonder sometimes if some people like us in our working place or our chosen career. At the end of the day, we worry less about God. When we stop worrying about all these, then we would be able to focus solely on pleasing God. When we make God our priority, then we do not have to worry about what others will say. So, as Christians, we should not try to impress anyone but believe in the name of the Lord. When God is about to make a way for us, He is always looking for different ways to talk to us. It could be dreams, vision, and so on. We as believers in Christ only have to be prepared to listen to Him when He calls. We must be ready to be consecrated for His service alone. Sometimes, God has given us answers to our prayers, but there might be enemies trying to block these prayers as seen in Daniel 10. God is always fighting our battles against the enemy. We must be ready to do God's will in our lives. He will always make a way for us where there seems to be no way. God works in ways we cannot see. He never sleeps, neither does He slumber. He is always ready to make a way for us. The devil and his agents are always looking for ways to destroy the children of God. The devil will do all in his power to tempt us and make our situation look miserable. But God is always ready to fight for us. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19 tells us that the enemy will try to fight us but will not overcome us because God will always deliver us from all forms of evil. One key virtue we should have when we face trials and temptation is patience. We must learn to wait upon God even when things are tough. Patience is the ability to wait on God's will over our lives. Worry and anxiety will always lead us to rash things that are against the will of God for our lives. When we let worry and depression take over our hearts, then we invite evil thoughts into our hearts. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 tells us that those who wait upon the Lord will have their strength renewed. It means when we have the patience to wait on the Lord, we show to God that we are humble enough to let His will be done in our lives rather than trust in our strength or power. When we are patient, we are also telling God of our weakness. This will make God arise and find a way even when there seems to be no way. When we expect God to make a way for us during our period of troubles and tribulation, we should learn to forget the past and lean on His promise. That means we should allow God to right our wrongs. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 tells us that if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. No matter your past evil background, God is ready to bring us out of darkness into His marvelous light. He is ready to make a way for you out of the world of darkness. There may be so many covenants that have been made during our past in the world of darkness. Our God is ready to deliver us from every evil covenant. God wants us as believers to put our total hope and trust in His name. He said in John chapter 1 verse 12 that as many that believe in His name, He gave the power to become the Son of God. This is why God is not happy when you worry about things He knows He will do. Learn to cast your burden on God and He will direct your path. He will surely make a way for you. You might also be tested by God to know your level of trust in Him. He said when you pass through temptations of life, He is always ready to provide means of escape for you. God will always test you according to your strength. This is why it is important not to worry or fret. When worry comes into your heart, fear of the unknown will also be planted. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind as seen in 2 Timothy 
chapter 1 verse 7 when you pass through the fire water and desert of life god will always make a way for you so keep on trusting god and he will continually make a way for you